New fallout tonight over missing evidence in the Asheville Police Department's evidence room. Funds deemed for two school systems could have been sitting there for years. Now there is the enormous task of figuring out how to get it where it belongs. In tonight's Reality Check, News 13's Russ Bowen joins us with a look at why this is so important. Russ? Well, Larry, few will deny that in this trying economic time, every penny counts for our schools. So why are those dollars just sitting in boxes? Most of our funds go to provide resources to teachers and classrooms. The Asheville City Schools Foundation tries to pick up where the state can't meet the funding needs of the Asheville City School System. Facing the budget cuts that have happened in the last few years, we're facing some teacher cutbacks, we're missing materials, uh, we're having to really scrimp on some of the things that would make a difference for our kids most in need. So we just need every penny in the public schools. In the APD facility, pennies, or likely dollars, that we found out earlier this week set in currency envelopes in more than a dozen bankers boxes. They're part of the evidence that's been locked up for more than a year in a sealed evidence room that's under SBI investigation. I don't think anybody had any idea that there was money in, in there like that. And it's also not known how long that money's been sitting there or how much there is. We do know it's marked school funds. Which heightens the reason why we want to get the money for the schools. We'd like to get it for them. But that is a big task. By state statute, monetary forfeitures are to be given to Asheville City and Buncombe County Schools General Fund. However, each envelope has to be connected with its specific case to determine if the case is still active or if the money can be released. According to auditors, the banker's boxes have no records attached. We want to get them the money just as quickly as we can. We can't receive it unless we have an order. And the judge's order is what we will follow. So some of these cases presumably could be five, six, seven years old. So we're going to have to go find the orders and see if they allow for it. The Buncombe County Clerk of Court says his office has seen a decline in forfeiture funds. We don't know yet if that's partly due to money just sitting in the evidence room or a recent rule change and how forfeiture money is dispersed. Regardless, most people just want to see it get to where it belongs. Public schools need every penny. And uh, if there's money that belongs with the Asheville City Schools, we hope that it gets there as soon as possible. Now, attorneys for both school systems, the clerk of court and the police department will now work to get the cash to where it belongs. At this point, no one has been charged in connection with missing evidence or implicated in the disarray of the evidence room. Larry?